Right, okay, fan reaction time then. Burnley won. Plymouth, Argyle, nil. The Clarets move up to second in the championship table tonight, thanks to some results that went our way. The last I checked, West Brom were losing. They must have lost, obviously, if we've gone second. Um, and Blackburn lost as well, obviously. They were somehow above us, uh, but now normal service has been resumed, and they are below us. Look, the reason why I wanted to start with saying the league table and stuff is because, once again... And I, I, I appreciate that I am sometimes a little bit guilty of feeling a little bit deflated after, um, say, on Tuesday, not Tuesday, it's Tuesday now, on Saturday, for example, obviously we didn't get the win, so I was probably more deflated and probably spoke more about um, the negative side of the performance rather than looking at the entire thing, because it was better than Portsmouth was the Oxford game. I feel like this was also better than the Oxford game, but I'm seeing so much negativity out there at the minute. And... I just want to steal a stat from Ryan Merton as well. Um, he has tweeted this as well. I have retweeted it if you do want to go and see it. Um, that at this stage of the season, we have played eight, won five, drawn two and lost one. At the same stage of the season in the Championship under Vincent Company, played eight, won just three, drawn four and lost one. Because obviously, if you remember, we had a lot of draws, didn't we, at the earlier start of the season. We've got off to a better start this season than we did the last time we were in the Championship under Vincent Company. And under Vincent Company, everybody was just saying, look, it'll come. We're waiting for click day, we all called it, didn't we? It'll come and we'll eventually rock the league. And that's exactly what we did. But people, for some reason, don't seem to be giving Scott Parker the same benefit of the doubt, yet we are seeing better results at this stage. We weren't seeing great football under Vincent Company at this stage of the season. There were some games where we looked good but didn't just quite you know, put the other teams to the sword and some games where we just couldn't even get over the line. There were a lot of draws at the earlier part of the season, like I've just said. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised to see the negativity. I've had WhatsApps and text messages saying, oh, that were dreadful, mate, weren't it? That were awful. The last 20 minutes weren't great to watch. We were hanging on against Plymouth. No disrespect to Plymouth, um, but their battle is survival this season. We shouldn't be hanging on against them sort of teams. However, first half, we were good. I thought we were very, very good. We got into some brilliant positions. The amount of times that either Anthony or Corley Osho especially got in behind the defenders was a lot. I'm not going to count it off the top of my head, but it felt like a lot. Um, but the problem with it was the final ball or the final decision-making, when them players got into that good position wasn't good enough and then on the rare occasion where we did manage to break them down and create a chance we fluffed our lines except for the penalty obviously but it's a penalty um, I, don't, I, I genuinely believe if it weren't for the penalty we wouldn't have won that match because we had like I said getting ourselves into good positions and creating some decent chances on a rare occasion the chance that Foster had where the keeper came out Probably should have put that away. I haven't seen any of these back, by the way, so I'm just going off what I saw it at the time. Um, and what was the other chance as well? The Coley Orshaw one where it came to him about, what, 10 yards out? Minimum hit the target. And he just blazed it over the bar. And some people are sitting there and saying, Parker Ball's horrendous. Parker Ball's so bad to watch. It's not... that The tactics, for me, got us in these good positions. And then we were beating their press, we were beating the lines... And then we just fluffed our lines as ourselves, that like we got into the final third. And the, the amount of times that we put a ball across the floor that their lads just mopped up, countless. It just felt like we're just, we're just not there in the final third. And I'll be honest, it is a worry. I'm sitting here, standing here defending them. But it is a slight worry that we just look a little bit toothless up front. And I don't think that's a tactics, to be honest. I felt like it potentially was earlier in the season, even though I was giving Parker the benefit of the doubt on these videos. But I don't feel like it. I just feel like we're just not making the right decisions sometimes. And then we get that half chance. Or, to be fair, the chances that I mentioned aren't half chances. You, you should be minimum put, hitting the target on both of them and, and none of them hit the target. And um, the Coley Osho one and the Foster one. So we, we do rarely create a chance. But when we get that chance, we've got to do better. I think me and uh, Vizzy spoke on the most recent full-time show about how, you know, under Vincent Company we had players who chipped in with goals all over the pitch. 
because there seems to be a lot of criticism of Foster saying he's not good enough, he's not going to get us 20 goals. But we didn't have a 20-goal striker last time out, did we? I think Nathan Teller, I think somebody said in the chat, got 17. But we had goals from all over the pitch, uh, but we didn't have an out-and-out -out striker, did we? Like a number nine um, who was banging in 20, 25 goals. We had Barnsley and Jay who, who both chipped in and, you know, I think Barnsley got more and had a decent enough return. But we were getting goals all over the pitch. I just feel like, at the minute, the attack isn't great. It's pretty toothless. Um, a lot of wrong decisions. thought Corley Allshaw today, he's getting some criticism online. Um, I thought he played okay, it's just his final ball, which has been a main criticism of Corley Allshaw before, hasn't it? His final ball's just not good enough. I felt like he has been getting better with that recently, but tonight it was kind of just back to that. He was getting in good positions and then fluffing his lines, whether it be a, a pass or a, or a shot. Um, you can think of both occasions on tonight's game where he, where he did fluff his lines. Um, so, yeah, I, f I feel like defensively we were solid. Um, I'm not sure Plymouth really put us under too much pressure. The last 10, 15 minutes was um, not a good watch. I think a lot of people are whinging and more whinging about that. Excuse me, because that last 10 minutes was poor. We weren't doing anything in that last 10 minutes. We were just... I don't even think Plymouth stepped onto us. I think we just naturally got towards the end of the game and in the back of the players' heads, they were thinking about protecting the league, so they just stepped off and they stopped playing football like we were in the first half. I think we just naturally just stepped back and obviously it goes into your head, like I said, about defending the lead so the players aren't making as many runs. They aren't... You know, making brave decisions about going forward, just thinking, just sitting in the position. And I feel like Plymouth then stepped onto us because of that, if that makes sense. Um, and then they probably had the best of, uh, of the last 20 minutes. Probably, I think they probably had more of the ball in the entire second half. I remember checking um, the, half, uh, the possession stats at around the 70th minute. And at that point, they'd had, had most of the ball in the second half. I don't know what it ended up. But I felt like we just let them have the ball and that frustrated me. Um, what I will say though, um, after it went to added time, um, I felt like we managed the game brilliantly. Um, we spent about five minutes in our own half, just in the corner, didn't we? And we just seemed to constantly just keep hold of it and I thought we did that quite well. Um, the last couple of minutes when they had them free kicks were a little bit hairy and I don't feel like we should have been in that position. Like, I genuinely celebrated a corner in the 95th minute against Plymouth Argyle. Again, no disrespect to Plymouth, but that's a team we should be putting to the sword with the you know the, the better decisions in the final third. Um, but I'll take it, it's three points, second in the league. I feel like we're only going to get better. Shout out to the midfield, I thought that looked better today. Moving the ball a little bit quicker. I felt like we were getting the ball into the final third better in this game, but then the decision making in the final third um, was the thing that let us down in today's game. Um, but look, Happy with where we are, personally. Second in the league, a better position than what we were under Vincent Company at this stage. Um, I'm not sure what all the negativity is about. Yes, we'd like to be winning every single game 4-5-0. Of course we would, but it's not going to work like that. It didn't work like that under Vincent Company, apart from after, what, December, I think it was. And then in sort of like the second half of the season, that's when we properly clicked. I, d I am a little bit worried, as I mentioned, about the final third. But again, as these lads play with each other a bit more, because you've got to remember it's uh, Corley Orshaw, um, Foster and Loren or Sarmiento who comes on and things like that. And then you've obviously got some of the fielders coming into it. Some of them are new lads. Some of them are playing with new lads in a new system. I'm hoping that that clicks and I'm hoping that that gets better. Um, defensively solid. Midfield was better today. Just a final third let us down. Shout out to Esteve. I thought he was class again. Um, Coley Osho, like I said, getting a bit of stick, but at least he's wanting the ball, he's brave enough to get it. Yes, his decision making could have been better. Um, Hannibal thought he played well today, he was everywhere. Um, I enjoyed Hannibal's performance, I thought, and he was moving the ball quicker, as I've said, um, as, as the whole midfield. But I did enjoy Lauren coming on, though. Uh, I know I've said a few times I want to see him come on and, and drag us up the pitch, and he did that, didn't he? I don't know if you saw it in the last, like, what were it, 94th minute, he did that. Massive run that dragged us 34 yards with the pitch and it took the pressure off. But yeah, uh, we got the win. Um, it, it, if only it was a little bit more um, easy and wasn't as hard work as what it was. But look, that's football. It's three points. I'm happy with the three points. I'm happy with where we are in the league. We are the highest placed team that was relegated last season um, at the minute. Uh, I think there's some games tomorrow uh, as well. But um, yeah, look. Up the Clarets, take the three points, hopefully another three points on Saturday as well, and that'll put us in another great position. But yeah, 
take the three points and I'm happy with it.